hello friends welcome to your own youtube channel achievers data engineering my name is gyanend and in this video of power bi tips and tricks we are going to talk about how can we achieve pagination in table visual in power bi right i'm not talking about a report builder i'm not talking about working on reports in power bi using report builder i am talking about working in power bi desktop application where we can create a table visual like this and within that table visual we can have this kind of pagination achieved so that uh, when we offer this report to the user instead of you know going through the default scroll bar in the report he will be able to jump on any page or he will be able to navigate on any page using these buttons in power bi so let's see how can we achieve that let's get it started all right guys so now i'm on a power bi report that i have already put together kind of a dashboard and now here you can see that i am using a table visual in this power bi where i have created these paginations and a user will be able to navigate using these buttons or kind of slicers also in case if we if you have you know multiple pages that will you know spread across in the bottom then a user will be able to jump on a page directly using this drop down all right so how can we actually achieve this uh, let's see in practical now so i'll go ahead and add a new page now one thing that i should you know express uh, right now is that by default if you go by this power bi table visual uh, so that by default table visual that we have in power bi if i go ahead and add elements into it so for example let me add order date mm, i don't want quarters and days all right let's add a couple of more details so i'll take total orders total sales sales and let's say order quantity and sales sales mtd and sales fitd all right enough so now what i am trying to say here if you are using by default this table which is being provided in the power bi whenever you will have any data which is kind of uh, getting more than uh, uh, whatever space that you have allocated this particular table then by default power bi will create this scroll bar that you can see here and anytime user want to see the details or he want to go through all of the details rows in this table he will have to go through this scroll bar now uh, there is no other way around that you can create pagination in a power bi like this right uh, though there are some workarounds that i came across where you can create a kind of um, a particular column that kind of uh, you know that should be designed especially for creating pages so for example if you want to have 25 rows in a particular page then in your table maybe you can come up with a index where you will have for example one in 25 rows then two in another 25 rows and three in another 25 rows and so on and once you will populate that column you can go ahead and use that column as a slicer and you will be able to use or create a pagination in table right but that will not work in each of the scenarios uh, in case you are shorting or if you have uh, you know multiple tables then that pagination will not work now to solve that problem to solve uh, that situation and to create a pagination uh, there is a custom visual available in power bi now you can go ahead and click on get more visuals and uh, once this window will load let's go ahead and search for grid all right and you can look for this particular visual that says grid by maq software so this is a third party visual that has been developed by maq software now you can go ahead and add it to your power bi so i have already added it you can also download the sample just if you want to see how it works and couple of uh, you know test cases or scenarios are been already listed in this sample report 
now i have already added it into in my power bi so let me click and close all right so now you can see here i have already added this grid by maq software table in my power bi now i will go ahead and just select this table visual that i have created and click on this ma uh, like grid and it will go ahead and change my existing table to a table that has paginated uh, pagination created now by default you can see here it, it has created only five rows so it does gives an option that we can limit the number of rows on a particular page right so let's get into some details uh, so by default if i go ahead and like having this visual selected if i get into uh, format your visual option then you will get only limited options where you can make changes for this third party visual so if you will uh, expand uh, this grid configuration option the first thing that you see it says text size so so you know it right so you can go ahead and increase or decrease the text size now another one says max rows now here you can set the number of rows that you want to see in a particular page so by default it is 5 if i go ahead and make it as 10 then now you can see that it is it is showing 10 rows in a particular page now so let's ignore this blank or zeros as of now uh, let's focus on uh, the pagination now uh, based on number of rows which we will specify on a single page these page numbers will be adjusted automatically we don't need to do any uh, any settings for it now another option says short key so short key it's kind of a uh, it's defining that on which column we want to short so by default it says one and you can see here this column or this table is being short by sorted by this particular column we can go ahead and change it so now you can see that when i have made it as two this short key by default option is appearing on month though we can still go ahead and uh, you know short of using any other column but the by default option we can set it from here and uh, in which way we want to short like ascending or descending we can specify it over here now there is one more interesting feature that has been provided in this visual is we can enable some hyperlink so it says enable custom redirection so we we might have to do some more settings but in general how can we use it so let me just try to show you for example uh, if i say it https and www.google.com slash all right now you notice that uh, now you would notice that once i have turned this on uh, the first column has got some hyperlink right so whatever link that i have specified here uh, after this last slash this value will appear so for example right now if i click on 2019 you will see it says you are about to navigate on https google.com the link that i have specified here slash 2019 the value of this particular column now definitely you can go ahead and customize it as per your requirement maybe you can come up with some values where you want to navigate based on a specific value in your column you can do that and if i click ok it will navigate me on the google right also if you want to set it for any other column definitely you can you can do it for another column you, you just need to change the number of like column number from here all right now apart from this you get some default options that you get in general when it comes to working on any visual in power bi however this is a specific settings uh, dedicated to this kind of visual so i hope it has given you enough understanding how can you achieve pagination in power bi in a table visual and you can help your user to navigate on large data set with an ease of jumping on any page and navigating on any page with some customized settings and a kind of a better visual in power bi if you like the content please go ahead and hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on any latest video that i upload thank you for watching keep learning have a great day